Hi and welcome to the first part of the significant figure lessons. So by the end of this lesson, hopefully we should be able to understand what is meant by a significant figure. And we should also be able to identify how many significant figures a number contains. So the first thing we've got to realize is that significant figures are used as an approximation tool. So we already know an example of this when we do rounding to a certain number of decimal places. This is similar to that. We're approximating a number, we're rounding a number, but rather than rounding it to a number of decimal places, we're rounding it to a certain number of digits in that number. So let's take an example. The population of Scotland is 5.5 million. Now, when we take this number, 5.5 million, do you think that's the exact number? Do you think there are exactly 5.5 million people in Scotland? Pretty unlikely. So we're going to assume that this number has been approximated. So how many significant figures has this been approximated to? Well, first of all, what is the exact number of the population of Scotland? Well, a census recently said that there was 5,424,828. So what we can see is that this number has been approximated to a number with two digits. It's 5.5 million. So we can say that this 5.5 million, right here, we, we write this out. We can say that there are two significant figures in this one. We got this 5.5 million, if we write this out in whole, we can see that we've got two non-zero numbers, which are the two fives, and the rest are zero. So that's a little bit of a clue as to how we figure out how many significant figures there are in this. So we can say this 5.5 million is the exact number rounded to two significant figures. Okay, so let's take the population of the UK this time. Now we say that there are 66,650,000. Um, so how many significant figures are in this number? Well, straight away, right off the bat, we should be able to see that there are four numbers here. And this million represents the number of zeros that there are in this number, or how many decimal places, or how many places before the decimal point. So there are four significant figures in this number. So you might be a bit comfortable with that, or you might be confused as to what is a significant figure and what is an insignificant figure. So a non-significant figure is any zero used to indicate the position of the decimal point. Now this is an extremely important concept for you to understand. Let's have an example. We've got a number here, 102,000, and we've got one zero two and then three zeros. Here we are going to say that we've got three numbers that are used to replicate because this could be 101,995 and we've rounded this to three significant figures. So this zero is significant because it's between two non-zero numbers and these zeros we're going to call non-significant. And that is because if these numbers weren't here we just plonk the decimal point after this two here, and then that would be 102. So these zeros tell us where the position of the decimal point is, because we need the decimal point to be here. So any zero that is added to represent the position, or to tell us where the position of the decimal point is, they're non-significant. This zero here between the one and the two, that is significant. Okay, let's have some more examples. 0 0.0102. Okay. The decimal point is between two zeros. So these two zeros here, they tell us where the decimal point needs to be. So we call them non-significant. These three numbers here, we're going to call significant. This zero is significant because it's between two non-zero numbers. Uh, two zero, uh, yes, that's right, two non-zero numbers. Okay, how about, this is an example. 12,505,000. Well, again, we're going to say that these numbers here are significant. And then these zeros here, because they tell us the position of the decimal point, which is going here rather than here, we're going to call them non-significant. Again, this zero is significant because it's between two 
fives here, so two non-zero numbers. So let's try and figure out how many significant figures examples of numbers contain. So the average salary of a graduate engineer is 24,000 a year. Okay, so we could say that's approximately 24,000 a year. It might be 23,675, or it could be uh, 24,134. But we're saying it's approximately 24,000 a year. We can say that there are two significant figures because we've got the two and the four and non-zero numbers. And these zeros represent where the decimal point is going to be. <clears throat> the average distance to the sun from the earth is approximately 151,000 and so 151 million, sorry, and 50,000. So here, these zeros, they tell us where the position of the decimal point is going to be. So they're non-significant. Everything else is therefore significant, including this zero between the one and the five. So there are five sig figs here. Let's go for the first one. The average attendance of a football stadium is 28,000 spectators. So that's obviously, that's going to be an approximate number. We can say there are two sig figs there. The length of the pencil is 0 0.015 meters. We can say there are two sig figs here. It's going to be these two non-zero numbers. Uh, okay, the length of the pencil is 0 0.0105. Now we've got an extra zero in the middle here. This zero in the middle, that is a significant figure. And these two, because they tell us the position of this point, they're going to be non, uh, they're non significant figures. So therefore, we're going to have three significant figures. So hopefully that's uh, cleared any doubts you have up about that. So let's just recap this. A significant figure or sig figs are the digits that approximate an exact number. So remember, approximate is an important thing here. And non sig figs are the zeros used to indicate the position of a decimal point.